Whether you like having creamy peanut butter or a nutritious smoothie for breakfast, making these at home will help you customize your recipes. But what appliance do you need to make them easily? Well, you can use a blender and a food processor. Although food processors and blenders share some functions, they clearly are not each other's substitutes. Primarily, you can use a blender to puree fruit or crush ice for your smoothies, sauces, and protein shakes. In addition to simply processing, a food processor can help you slice, grate, shred, and dice your food to prepare sliced veggies, mincemeat, shredded cheese, and loads more. Hence, in today's video, we'll talk about some basic differences between the KitchenAid K150 3-speed ice crushing blender and the KitchenAid 7-cup food processor to help you understand why and how they differ from each other based on comparability. So, without any delay, let's get started. Blades First off, blades determine how well your blender and food processor will perform. This KitchenAid blender has an asymmetric fixed blade that blends at four different angles. Thus, you can crush ice and tougher fruits like pineapple and raw mango easily. Alternatively, this KitchenAid food processor has multiple discs and blades which you can use to chop veggies, ground almonds or hazelnuts, puree fruits and knead bread dough inside your work bowl. Therefore, this food processor wins this particular race of blades due to providing you with multiple versatilities. Accessories Secondly, useful accessories are needed to maximize the workability of your blender and food processor. This particular model of blender comes with a 48-ounce jar with a jar lid which is standard for most of the blenders you will use. Conversely, this model of food processor comes with several accessories. It has a 7-cup work bowl, lid, multi-purpose blade and reversible medium slicing and shredding disc. And all of these help you with processing hard-to-soft veggies easily. Hence, this food processor wins yet again in terms of accessories since it has more accessories to simplify your cooking prep. Performance Moving on, when it comes to performance, these two perform in an excellent way. While this blender with 3-speed options can crush ice in just 10 seconds, this food processor is capable of working swiftly with its three options as well. So in case of performance, you can't go wrong with these kitchen helpers' speed and effectiveness to make your numerous dishes. However, this blender might be more powerful as it can crush your ice and rock-solid frozen fruits for your iced coffee and other frozen beverages. Recipe Possibilities with this KitchenAid blender, the recipe possibilities you have are endless. Starting from mixed berry smoothie, tomato soup, healthy protein shake, smooth baby food to finely powdered sugar and iced coffee, this blender will do it all for you. On the other hand, the food processor will assist you in making breadcrumbs, buy our pizza dough, shredded cheese, sliced veggies, minced meat, pesto, rice cauliflower for vegan pizza and so much more. budget. And finally, when it comes to budget, both the blender and the food processor from KitchenAid come at a price that's within your reach. However, if you differentiate them based on the performance levels, you will notice slight fluctuations. One thing for sure, you won't have to spend a fortune on either of these as they are both highly affordable. All things considered, we agree that both the KitchenAid K150 3-speed ice crushing blender and the KitchenAid 7-cup food processor might be different from each other in various ways. Yet, they come with their own set of functionalities for your convenience. To be more precise, you can go for this blender if you're more into powerful speed to make your instant smoothie, shakes, soup and plenty more. But on the contrary, if you want to take care of your heavy-duty cooking prep like slicing, shredding or mincing, you need this food processor in your kitchen straight away. 
That being said, we are now at the end of the video. Hope you loved it and subscribe if you did. In the comment section, let us know if you find this video to be helpful. Stay tuned if you want more videos like this.